Welcome back to Studio Lou. It's Cindy. Um, I have a bit of an unboxing to do today because I got some really exciting mail. So I just pulled the tape off and pulled a piece of paper out, but I haven't actually opened this yet. So this is um, not a sponsored video, but this is my order from uh, Maiwa, which is this incredible like dye supplier store um, for natural dyeing that is in on Granville Island in BC in Canada. So I wanted to share it with you because I think it's super magical from what I've seen so far. So I'm taking a course right now with Irit Dolman on monochromatic um, botanical eco printing. And so these are some of the supplies that I got and I just wanted to show them off because this store looks so amazing and I saw their website and I was really excited about it because it just looks like a really amazing website and um, I think that their materials that they're that they package and everything are really nice so when you open the box you get this cute like thank you for your order um, and this is the information on their website um, it's mywa.com and naturaldyes.ca so if you're in Canada they are um, they are Canadian and they offer free shipping after you spend a certain amount and the best thing is it's in Canadian dollars so we're not paying the um, exorbitant fee of using US dollars plus shipping and all of that so this is like a postcard that they provide um, showing off the results from their natural dyes and a little bit of information about their company so I think they have possibly more than one location, but um, they're all based out of um, like Vancouver, BC area. And then I saw this really like, this is as far as I got into the box. I saw this little book called A Quiet Manifesto for the Preservation of Craft, A 30 Year Journey with Maiwa. So I don't know anything about them yet. I have to read this book, but it looks like they have quite a history in um, textile dyeing, fiber dyeing, and um, <clears throat> gathering natural materials to create dye stuffs. So I'm really excited about this because I'm getting into, I've been a dyer for a long time, dyeing my own yarn, um, but I'm getting into now trying to do more eco printing, both with paper and with um, dyeing, eco, eco dyeing or natural dyeing fabrics and probably yarn. I've done a bit of natural yarn dyeing, but um, I've primarily worked with like acid dyes and things like that. I have done indigo before for um, and I'm really excited to just kind of start something new so if you're not familiar with Irit Dulman you should check her out she's really cool she's on she has her own website iritdulman.com um, she's kind of like a pioneer or like the mother of like I don't know amazing eco printing textile botanical printing materials like making these incredible fabrics and for the longest time you could only get like a workshop with her if she was traveling in your country and of course with COVID-19 there's not traveling really happening so frequently so she um, along with I believe her partner put together an incredible online course that you can subscribe to and to take her her first online course which is monochromatic dyeing um, and she teaches you all sorts of things about making mordants and um, making dyes what plants to collect which ones are heavy in tannin which is needed to kind of leave the impression I've already learned so so much about you know plants and things that I didn't know before and I've hardly spent any time I haven't even gotten started yet but this is just my kind of launching point so they also send you um this guide to natural dyes and what they are how to use them um and just some like tips about like your water scouring mordants and tannins and just the different um, chemicals that you that you use to dye they give you mordant recipes um, they give you like some dyeing like 
advice on like how to use these different dyes that they carry and it's all natural and like this is my very first order with them they have um they have documentaries like this is just really exciting um and there are trailers and downloads of their documentaries on their website mywa.com so yeah if you're interested in natural dyeing I definitely recommend you check them out because even if you're in the U.S. I mean the dollar it's like you, you're spending like 30% less on whatever you're purchasing so like yeah why not even if you're paying for shipping it's probably still decently better so what did I get? So I got some marigold, uh, ground marigold petals. Um, they create a really beautiful gold, yellow, orange kind of range. Um, and I got some, a big jar of matter and that creates um, reds. So that's ground matter root. And these are really nice. This is a 225 gram jar, so it's a decent size. And I got um, some gallnut to use as my tannin um, for my initial um, dyeing that I'm going to be doing. It's packaged so beautifully. Like, this is really pretty. I love their labels. They've really put a lot of care into making these. And then the rest of these are like, well, not all of them, but some chemicals. So this is ferrous sulfate. So this is part of the mordant recipe for the, it, it's like an iron. It creates some um, mordant. A mordant, basically, if you're unfamiliar, is what fixes the, the dye onto your cloth. It allows you to... Um, basically prepare the cloth that you're going to dye and this is calcium hydroxide so that's also used it's an alkali that's used as part of your mordant process and let's get this nice jar out and this I've never used or heard of before but it's called myrobalan and um it's ground it's a plant of some sort and um I I just really loved the colors that it that I saw um, for projects that were dyed with it. So I'm really, really interested in making um, a nice tannin with that and seeing how it turns out. And then I have this big thing of alum or potassium aluminum sulfate and that's also used for um, natural dyeing making your mordant and also marbling so yeah that is the extent of my initial order with with um, Maiwa and I wanted to share because I just think that their products are really cool like I like how you know these like look how beautiful these look imagine having a natural dye set up and you've got all these lovely jars of different like you know flower um ingredients and like for making dyes and mordants and things like that's just really nice I just anything that's kind of like an apothecary keeps me very interested I think it's really pretty and I think they put a lot of effort into how they present their um products so I really appreciate all the educational material and I think it's really nice I recently checked them out on Instagram and they have a giveaway where they gave away kind of like a how to get started as um, an eco dyer kit and it had sort of I don't know 10 or 15 different dyes some mordants and you know just everything to get started and um, they've just packaged that whole thing up it's like a ton of stuff and it's about $360 Canadian for like your whole startup kit so I just thought that was like a really nice way to sort of get an education in something you've never done before but um yeah so that's what I'm up to. I just wanted to make a little video about it for the fun of it. And I will probably share some of my results as I move through the process of this workshop. So I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Mm -hmm.